Good evening, I'm Holden Apsher. Four people were killed and two were injured in a mass shooting yesterday evening at the Greenwood Park Mall. 20-year-old Jonathan Sapperman opened fire in a food court, killing three people before 22-year-old bystander Elijah Dickens shot and killed him within two minutes. The shooter fired several rounds, striking the suspect. The suspect attempted to retrieve, ba retreat back into the restroom and fail, fell to the ground. Police say Dickin did not have a permit for his gun, but he was legally carrying under Indiana's new constitutional carry law. Supporters rallied outside the Jackson County Jail this weekend, one year after Tanisha Chappelle died in police custody, and her family says she was poisoned. We're not backing down. We want the truth, and we want people to stand accountable for what they did to my daughter. Chappelle experienced a medical emergency last summer, but jail staff didn't help her for hours. When she finally made it to a hospital, she was soon pronounced dead. The prosecutor's report cleared the jail of wrongdoing, but Chappelle's family sued the jail and is calling for a federal investigation. Bloomington wants to combine fire and police headquarters under one roof, and it could mean an expansion to City Hall. City Hall is located in the Showers Building, but the property is divided into three sections. Monroe County and Cook Financial Corporation, or CFC, also own portions. The city announced Friday it made an accepted offer to purchase CFC's 64,000 square foot section for more than $9 million. And now for a quick look at the weather. Tonight mostly clear with a low of 67 degrees. Looking ahead at the five-day forecast, sun this week with a high of 87 tomorrow. For more local news, go to WTIUNews.org and catch Indiana News Desk Fridays at 6. Have a good night.